and ignorance, if you like. Um, we have had a serious problem of the uh, pandemic, and then because of the it, because it's been the first time that our health institutions have uh, been met with is the country, the whole country, and the whole of West Africa have seen it. You know, it drove a huge fear in the population. It created problem with our structures that were not prepared for this type of uh, pandemic. And, and all of that has uh, affected us immensely. And it has um, turned into death. So now we're talking about losing in the last six months uh, 1,089 in the last estimate of people dying as a result of Ebola and Ebola-related causes as well. Because when people fled from the hospitals, so people die from malaria, people die from diarrhea. Other diseases are normally curable. Diseases that are prevalent during the season, rainy season in Liberia. So uh, what we're calling for therefore is a kind of support that first assists people sensitizing them, giving them the awareness that you do not have to die from Ebola. You can be treated, but you must make yourself available, you know, to the hospital early. But we, for the hospitals to function, we need the hospital equipment, we need supplies. And one of the important supplies, of course, is those protective gears that make people to be afraid, or nurses or workers to be afraid of attending a patient. You know, once they're there and they're properly trained in the use of those facilities, they will have the confidence to treat patients and the death will come down. And um, those are the, are those the PPEs? That that's what, yes, that's what we call the PPEs, the pro personal protective equipment. So the, the gloves, the gowns, the, uh, you know, you call them. Very, very important in this process to, in, to induce confidence and then medical uh, supplies. And I guess, what are you just asking from people here? What can we do to help? Well, uh, the first thing, especially being a hero <laughs> that has demonstrated capacity, uh, what, we, what we want is the um, medical equipment and supplies. And secondly, we, we are looking for manpower. Uh, one of the projects we, we hope we can get support for is where Liberian volunteers or other volunteers want to come to Liberia to work, to help train health workers to manage the equipment that you are sending. Um, when they do that, they leave their work in the United States or elsewhere. And they don't want to lose those jobs. They want to save lives in Liberia, but they want to come back to their comfort. You know, and so how do we do that? <coughs> Yesterday I was in a meeting with the governor and we're making the same point to the lieutenant governor today. Uh, and we're saying if uh, North Dakota could support a project like this. So those people who want to volunteer, if they are given, say, three months leave of absence and they can come back to their jobs, we can tell you with personnel, trained personnel, on the ground, a great deal will be achieved. And your contribution, the businesses that are at the big iron, we're talking to some, that their contribution to all of this might not be cash, might be that type of support, but cash will be welcome too, so we can pay the health workers. And I guess, is there anything else that you'd like to add about this? Well, what I can add is to encourage uh, people like Hero and others I mean, I think I can only but say thank you to them. Um, they've been doing a great job, and I want to assure them that whatever they've sent to Liberia has been used for the purposes for which it is given. I want to encourage you, the Liberian groups here, the Liberian community here has been working very hard. The Liberian diaspora group we, um, is the one that is IPI. API. API. Sorry? AIP. AIP that have been working with HERO, the UNICO, that have been working with uh, HERO and other community leaders 
and other community groups and organizations, we will ask you to support them. I can guarantee that the work they do is supporting what we do. Yeah. I want to thank you all for all the wonderful the work. Yeah. And we go going to the university. The university has also <coughs> Not to put us to interest. Um, yeah. You know, we want to train health workers. We want to train agricultural workers for the for the post um, post Ebola economy. We want to buy agriculture equipment. We want to be able to transform the uh, life of our people senses in agricultural economy. And you have a huge agricultural uh, thing that is working, that is so successful. We want to learn from that too. It's asking too much, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the director. And of course. Yeah. Mm, one second. Okay. All right. All right. And what would you like to, you know, tell, I guess, the viewers, and just everybody? Yeah. Well, I just want to extend my thanks to to the management of hero and to all uh, people in North Dakota for responding to our uh, bill when we launched the Ebola uh, rally to collect items to ship to Liberia. We, it's ongoing. We have set the deadline for September 20th, and we're asking all those the businesses, the government officials, whoever can, to join us in this effort. Uh, we have set up a steering committee, and we're working uh, hard to get what we can. And I want to thank the minister, too, for adding his voice and, and launching an appeal, you know, on behalf of the people of Liberia. We all are Liberians. We are passionate about this situation. We know what our people, fellow Liberians are going through. And so we want to get all the support we can so that we can help them, you know, work on this disease. Great. Uh, could you talk about a little bit uh, how um, Hero has been... Uh, uh, contribute, I think you're contributing to, uh, to this fight. Well, yeah, this fight, we, we, we came into Hero and we, we told them about the plight. We gave them a list of items we need and we have asked them to help us in that direction. Uh, Hero, we had, you know, gave us their overwhelming support in that direction. Uh, they assured us that they will be putting together the best they can. And so they will let us know when they have it uh, and, and packed. You know, so we can come and take delivery of it, and so we anticipate that, and we we are glad to hear that they are willing to cooperate with us. And they, uh, I guess, shipped something out in March too, correct? Yes. Well, uh, it was last year, this year, but it was collected. Hero did a huge donation to the country uh, through Unico, and we were very thankful. We came here and we helped to load the truck and the container. So we we just so glad that they can be a partner. Uh, to all the situation that we face in our country. Thanks. That's good for me. 